Welcome back to my channel A Monk in Cloud. If you are new to this channel, A Monk in Cloud is a community where we discuss about cloud and DevOps. So, in the last few videos we have been covering serverless web application on AWS series where we are explaining or we are building this project, right? So in the last video we have set up this CloudFront distribution and it was working fine. Now, the next step is to have a Route 53 enabled for the CloudFront distribution. As you have already seen a quick recap of the CloudFront distribution, if you see here, we have alternate domains which is set to nil, right? So, but we don't have to do that. Like we need our own website or our own domain for us to use, right? For that, what I have done, I had purchased a free domain for myself previously uh, we, by using this site called free norm a name for everyone so you can also i uh, you can also get it for free i don't know if that is supported right now but when i had uh, you know signed up for this one it was completely free and i had purchased all the you know uh, domains for myself if you do not have a domain please purchase one and use it uh, whenever you want right so there are many things that we need to cover uh, as part of the domain name. So uh, just go ahead and buy one domain for yourself for testing purposes, right? So if you see here, uh, I'll just click on services under my domain. I have many domains here and this is one of the domain, right? A monkey in cloud .tk. So this is what uh, I'm going to use in this particular video, right? So we'll have to manage this domain. I'll show you what to do. Right. So uh, let's go to our AWS management console and let's open up Route 53 in AWS. If you want to buy a domain in uh, in Route 53, that is fine. If you do not want, you can go and, uh, you know, get the domain from other third party services too. Right. Namecheap, GoDaddy and everything. Right. So uh, Route 53 also provides a domain name. You can purchase it here. If you see here, I think uh, you need to go to your, uh, you know, register domain. And if you have not registered any domain, you can, uh, you know, purchase them here. Right. So now uh, as I have the domain already, I'll go ahead and, you know, create a hosted zone. Basically, a hosted zone tells Route 53 how to respond to DNS queries for a, a domain such as example.com or amonkingcloud.com, right? So now let me go ahead and create a hosted zone. In hosted zone, what is the domain name that you are trying to use? Uh, I'm going to use amonkingcloud.tk. So I'm going to copy that or you can either type it. So I don't want to make any mistake. So it is better to copy it and paste it here. Make sure you do not add any extra white spaces in the beginning at the end also, right? So description, if you want, you can add it else leave that as default. Now, uh, the type, whether you are, uh, your, this hosted zone is routed on an internet or whether it is restricted to your VPC. If it is VPC only, then you can select private hosted zone. As this is my public facing uh, web application, I need to go and select pub public hosted zone, right? So I'll select that one and I'll click on create hosted zone. Now, if you see uh, this record will be created, uh, NS record and SOA record will be created, NM service record and a SOA record will be created. So now the next thing that you need to do is you need to copy this name service, uh, you know, route traffic and you need to add it in your free, free norm or whichever the third party tool that you are using. You need to click on manage domain. If you do not see manage domain with your third party service, there will be some other, you know, uh, name for that. Just figure it out. But uh, you should be able to manage your domain, right? So that is the basic idea. I'll just click on manage free norm DNS. Okay. And I'll just click on edit name servers. And here they are recommending to go with a default name server, which is assigned by the free norm name servers. But I don't want to do that. I need to go with AWS DNS. Right. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this one. I'll just uh, copy and I'll just paste it. So you need to do the same thing for all four of them. OK, so I'll just first one is done. Now I'll copy the second one. And I'll paste it in the second here. And next I'll go and copy the third one. And I'll paste it here in this name server three. 
and the last one right copy all the four and paste it in your name servers okay sorry i made a mistake there let me copy you back and i'll paste it here okay all right so it's done now i'll just click on change name servers okay so after that is done i think uh, your uh, information will be uh, registered right now if you go back here that is all you have to do for this registration right so now uh, the next thing that you need to configure is to go and edit your cloud front right so what you need to do is you you have uh, you have the alternate domain name set to nil you need to edit that one how to do that just click on edit here and here if you see um come all the way uh here if you see alternate domain name which is a c name which is optional but we need to add it so here if you see add custom domain name that you use in urls for files served by distribution so let me click on add item and here you just you can just give your domain name right so for example i'll just uh, say uh, monkeyincloud.tk okay so i'll just copy that and i'll say uh, greeting dot among in cloud.tk right so this is fine for me because uh, our application is a kind of a greeting application right so i'll just add that one and here if you see uh, you you are uh, seeing the custom ssl certificate which is a recommended one because a certificate uh, uh, application without an ssl certificate which is of no use because it is not secured right so for that what you can do you can request a certificate here itself on acm certificate that is amazon certified man certificate manager okay so here if you see request a public certificate okay i'm gonna select that and click on next you need to provide a fully qualified domain name here i'll just say star and i'll uh, provide um a monkey cloud dot tk right star dot a monkey cloud dot tk that means all the things that will be served by you know a monkey cloud before we have subdomain star uh, which means all the things that i mentioned here right so after that you have to just check all the other details leave everything else as default and just click on request right so it is saying invalid domain name okay maybe uh, the fault is with the uh, uh, you know uh, an extra space here at the end so as i told you that should be removed right so it will cause a problem to you and i'll just make sure that there are no extra spaces again now let me click on request it should work without any issues right so if you see here it has successfully requested the certificate with the id this one right so after some time the certificate uh, will be the status is still in pending after some time the certificate will be issued to you right so i'll pause this video for some time and i'll get back to you once the certificate is issued let us go ahead and validate this certificate right if you see here pending validation so let me go into the certificate id here if you come all the way down you have something called as domains and here if you see create records in route 53 so basically it is like if you want to validate this one if you click on this create records in route 53 it is going to validate automatically so i'll just click on this one so here if you see uh, what it is going to do is it is going to create a cname record in route 53 right so let me click on create record so if you see now uh, the validation is saying that it is successfully created dns records now let me go back to my route 53 and i'll just uh, hit refresh here you need to see one more entry if you see here this was created the c name is here right now let us create another record for our subdomain like we i uh, gave that as you know a greeting dot monkey in cloud dot com right so i need a subdomain called greeting so what i'll do is i'll create a route 53 record so i'll just click on create record and i'll provide greeting here in the record name dot a monkey in cloud dot tk okay so and i'll uh, reroute it to alias okay so what i have to do is i need to select the cloud front distribution and i'll select that one and here if you see here you don't see the uh, you know the um, the alias here yet 
the or the cloud front distribution yet that is re the reason is you have not added the certificate there right so let me refresh this once again let's see if it is valid or not now okay now if you see here uh, this is still in pending validation i don't know how much time it, it might take so let me come here okay so let me just refresh this one let me see if i can see the uh, certificate here Okay, I still don't see the request. Okay, so it might take some more time. I'll I'll have to wait for some more time. Now, if you see the status has been changed to issued, it took quite a lot of time for me. I mean, more than ten minutes. So, uh, finally, the certificate is now issued to me. Now, if I go to CloudFront and if I just come here under SSL certificate, if I hit refresh and I click on this drop down i should be able to see the uh, star dot in cloud dot tk basically star is a wild card which is used for uh, you know let's say you want to use any subdomain in front of a in cloud dot tk then you will be able to use the same certificate instead of going and using a new one right so i'll select this one and now if you see uh, everything else is you know good for me i'll just go all the way down here and i'll just save the changes after verifying everything right so now you if you see here everything is set up now okay you will be able to access your website using this greeting dot among in cloud dot tk right so let's copy this one let me go over to the new tab and i'll paste this one here and i'll hit enter right so let's it it might take some time for the dns propagation to happen uh, after that you will be able to see it and we missed an important step which we did not do it as the certificate was still getting issued that is go to your route 53 and you need to complete this creating the record right so we were in the process to create a record and this is the record here and now if you come here and click on choose distribution you should be able to see your distribution right so now let me just refresh this page and let me try once again okay so i'll just say greeting and i'll click on alias and i'll say i'll say a uh, cloud front and here i should be seeing the greeting dot among in cloud dot tk right so this is what we created previously we were not able to view this because the certificate and this was this configuration of cloud front was not saved yet right now i'm able to see that i'll select that one and i'll click on create records now what happens so the routing will be made and an a record will be created for greeting dot among in cloud dot tk right so now if i come back and i'll hit refresh after some time you will be able to see the content that you have stored on your s3 right now you can see the content right so if you see here this is a greeting app now uh, if you want to type anything you can just type in here and if you submit it your name will appear here right so this is a simple application that i've come up with for this particular example right so this is all you have to do in the step uh, route 53 we have configured the cloud front we have configured to use an ssl certificate we are using our own custom domain now you might ask it is still not secure but what you can do is you can just type in http yes colon slash slash and now if you hit enter the same site will appear for you with the secured connection if you see here you can see the lock button here and you can see the connection is also secure if you want to see the certificate details you can just click on here and if you see here it was assigned or issued by amazon rca right so when was it issued this is the time and this is when the certificate is going to expire right so this is how you can set up the route 53 and the certificate for your cloud front distribution so that the entire setup looks good right so the next step is to create this dynamo db and make sure to add views by using a lambda you don't worry if you don't understand what i'm talking right now in the next video i'm going to explain that in in a clear way right so that's it i had to cover in this particular video if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one
You can now access the main points of this video on our website amankincloud.com by clicking the link in the video description.